amidst this mayhem, as NASA supporters played cut and mouse with the police during the aborted Jacaranda Grounds rally, an unlikely victim fell under a bullet. Seven-year-old Geoffrey Mutinda, a victim of politics he has no knowledge about. This is where he met his sudden death. Phyllis Amera witnessed the shooting, only she couldn't tell the source of the bullet. She says Mutinda was playing on the first floor balcony of their building when commotion began. His curiosity got the best of him, and as he struggled to make sense of what was happening, a bullet hit him on the head, killing him instantly. <laughs> Nilidhani ni hile tu kushtuka, meshtuka, mchukua. Kumchukua ni kanza kupigia nduri ni kambia majirani wakuja tumpeleke hospitali. Kwa hile harakati ya kungangana huku na huku, ni kamuachilia chini. Hapo ndio mtuta ni kata roo, haka kufa. Kumbe alikuwa mepigua risasi na nyuma, alikuwa na bleed. A distraught mother now seeking justice for a son whose full potential she will never know even as she prepares to bury her little boy. He was a standard to pupil. Fingers of blame pointed at the police for his shooting. But the Nairobi police boss, Jafet Kome, absolves the police, claiming criminals were possibly responsible for the child's death. The police statement posted on Twitter reads in part, Besides, there were no active police operations in Quarry area. However, there were police operations to deal with rioters around Jacaranda grounds and its environs in Donholm, about five kilometers away. End of quote. The Independent Policing Oversight Authority has however dispatched its Rapid Response Unit to investigate the incidents with a view of establishing circumstances of the shooting. The authority vows that if culpability on the side of the police officers will be established, it will ensure the officer responsible faces the full force of the law. Sylvia Chibet, Citizen TV, Nairobi. Hey, si ande mal y ve que quiere mal.